So, what's going on in my classroom? Educational results. My entire math class is gamified. This is what I mean. I've got rewards, I've got levels, and so on. For example, every quarter I give an MP3 player to the top students, so all the high achievers are really pushing for that. Students level up. We have four math classes. I teach the high math class. If kids do really well on the district benchmark tests, they level up to the next math class, to the next math class, to get to my math class where it's fun. And they're all killing each other to get there. Also, we have a super huge reward after state tests are done in April for the entire last month of school. If you have stayed leveled up in my math class, you're one of those top 36 students in a grade level, you get to stay in my math class for the rest of the school year. There is no homework, no classwork, nothing. We just play Monopoly, learn to solve Rubik's Cubes, and if you want to do some seventh grade math, go ahead. But we're going to play Monopoly. Now, how would you like to have no homework, no classwork for a month? And this is with principal and district blessing and approval. Why? Because they're, they're killing on the state math tests. Also, I have a hall of fame. I've got on the wall every single student who scored advanced on the state math test once I started doing this. And the kids look at that. I said, you want to be like one of those kids? So there's that, that all-time high score list, you know, like on a video game. That's on my classroom wall. The kids want to be on that. Well, here's what happened uh, with the data. District benchmark tests. We're setting record scores all the time, killing that test every six weeks. Also, we have rapidly increasing California state math test scores. In 2007, before I ever started this, I had a whopping 10 kids score advanced, the highest level on the California state math test, the number that matters. In 2008, when I started using Monopoly in the classroom, 19 advanced students. 2009, 27 advanced students. 2010, 37 advanced students on the California State math test. I think it's working. 